also said that there was blowback from explosions and that he uh, was a veteran, so he was able to you know, stay on his feet. Other guys were thrown back. So these were explosions that were, were happening. I mean, there's no doubt that, that this was well orchestrated and also well covered up. Now, I want to get David Knight's take um, you know, he didn't have television at the time. He was kind of getting these secondary reports. That's right, Leanne. For a long time, I didn't question the official conspiracy theory. And that's what it is. It's officially a conspiracy theory. But is it a true theory? And when we look at an investigation, we have to use deductive reasoning. Remember the quote from Sherlock Holmes? He said, when you eliminate the impossible, what remains, no matter how improbable, is the truth. Let me read to you what the NORAD general told the 9-11 Commission staffers. He said, the real story is actually better than the one that we told. And of course, the, what he's talking about is what happened with the NORAD stand down. There were multiple drills that were going on. That's now a hallmark of these false flag events. We saw it happen again in London with the 7-7 bombing, running a exact same scenario in the exact same time and place, concurrent with the event. They're running a scenario that looks exactly like that. And, of course, Gore, Gore Vidal had a problem with that many years later. He says, I don't believe this for a minute. They went 100 minutes without putting jets up. That is not standard procedure. I went back and I looked at the Vanity Fair article, and this was something that an associate producer of the film United 93 was talking about. He said it took him seven months to get any transcripts from NORAD. And he said there was a lot of confusion that was going on there. Now, of course, he looks at it and he goes, this is so confusing for people. This is so far beyond uh, what you would expect out of a coincidence that many conspiracy theorists think that that's a smoking gun. I do think it was a smoking gun because it isn't a, it isn't a uh, con coincidence when you've got four or five military drills all operating at exactly the same time when nobody does their, their job. They look up and they see the CNN art, uh, monitor and they say, is this the, uh, are these the uh, planes that we've been following as part of this exercise? And they go, well, those are the planes you're following, but it's not an exercise. And, of course, we know that Operation Northwoods, going back to the 1960s, was part of that. But I didn't see that for a very long time because I wasn't watching television. I was simply getting radio reports. What I was concerned about was how they were going to use this to enact something like the Patriot Act. I'd seen how they'd use civil asset forfeiture, SWAT teams of the drug war. I was concerned this was going to be part of the uh, focus for an authoritarian government. That's what I was focused on for a long time. And you were right. Right. And you were absolutely right. It rolled out so fast. There was no doubt that that th the patriotism was absorbed to take us into a war on false pretenses of weapons of mass destruction. Right. Now, when we come back, we're going to get uh, Darren Green's pages, right? take. I mean, this is the 28 pages. This is how we can kind of pull this thing around. Well, this could change the world. We don't know what's in the documents. They're blacked out. But there is a growing movement uh, amongst uh, congressmen, senators, and the American people to get Obama to declassify the 28 pages that were taken out of the 9-11 Commission report. We're going to take a look at it when we get back. I began to get into iodine a few years ago because it was helping me and my family so much get healthy and detoxify. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. And I know this for a fact. Nobody else has got iodine based on these pure crystals, ladies and gentlemen. For a limited time, experience the ancient power of Survival Shield X2. I believe our research is conclusive. This is the best iodine out there. Take advantage of this at InfoWarsLife.com. Clean, toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different 
different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing Secret 12, the new InfoWars Life Vitamin B12 formulation. Most forms of vitamin B12 are highly processed and synthetic and could not be properly absorbed by the body. That's why for real results, so many are having to turn to painful B12 injections, which are known to have higher absorption rates. Now, InfoWarsLife.com is excited to announce that we can bring you our most bioactive, powerful form of B12 that has been developed with our exclusive perfected process. Secret 12 is a binary of nutramedical grade bioavailable coenzyme forms of B12, methylcobalamin, the same kind used in B12 injections, and adenosyl cobalamin. Secret 12 is simply taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Don't take my word for it. Try it for yourself. Discover the secret. Secret 12. Secure your revolutionary Secret 12 formula right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Introducing the first proprietary oxygen-based intestinal cleanser, Oxy Powder, backed by real FDA-approved phase one, two, and three clinical trials. People are suffering from all kinds of digestive issues these days. All the toxins from the air, the food, the water, ultimately ends up in the gut or affects the gut. My main focus was to come up with a remedy for this, something that's safe and effective that anyone can take on a regular basis to keep their intestinal lining clean. My recommendation is to clean your intestines at least two to three times a week to prevent the toxic buildup from going into your bloodstream. Take your health into your own hands and start cleansing your body today with Oxy Powder. Secure your Oxy Powder today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. The mainstream media initially blew the whistle on the highly suspicious, aggressive surges of the trading of put options on American Airlines and United Airlines just before the 9-11 tragedy. We've also begun a major investigation into whether someone or many people benefited financially from the evil done to the country last Tuesday. However, that coverage of the investigation quickly came to a screeching halt. American lawyer Jim Rickards related in his book, The Death of Money, how on September 26, 2003, John Mulherin and I were seated side by side in a fourth floor meeting room in the headquarters complex. Mulherin was one of the most legendary stock traders in Wall Street history. I was responsible for modeling terrorist trading for the CIA, part of a broad inquiry into stock trading on advanced knowledge of the 9-11 attacks. I looked in his eyes and asked if he believed there was insider trading in American Airlines stock immediately prior to 9-11. His answer was chilling. It was the most blatant case of insider trading I've ever seen. Be that as it may, Jim Rickards and other mainstream media financial pundits would distance themselves from the ugly notion that prior knowledge of 9-11 was known to government officials and Wall Street traders. The indisputable truth is, inside trading was in an uncanny feeding frenzy, gorging on foreknowledge as put options surged on the very companies that would be blindsided by the attack. Reinsurance companies Munich RE and Swiss RE nearly doubled the level of shares traded normally days before the attack. Financial services Merrill Lynch and Morgan Stanley with offices in the towers saw huge surges in put options traded days before the attacks. Morgan Stanley, which saw an average of 27 put options on its stock bought per day before September 6th, saw 2,157 put options bought in the three trading days before the attack. Merrill Lynch, which saw an average of 252 put options on its stock bought per day before September 5th, saw 12,215 put options bought in the four trading days before the attack. Morgan Stanley's stock dropped 13%. 
and Merrill Lynch's stock dropped 11.5% when the market reopened. The SEC quickly put on a show for the public, deputizing hundreds of officials to investigate and essentially cover up the beneficiaries of the put option feast. In October of 2001, SFGate reported in a two-page statement issued to all securities-related entities nationwide, the SEC asked companies to designate senior personnel who appreciate the sensitive nature of the case and can be relied upon to exercise appropriate discretion as point people linking government investigators and the industry. By deputizing these officials, the SEC had essentially made it impossible for the investigators to disclose publicly what they had discovered. The blame for the spending spree on the profits of doom were erroneously attributed to the agents of the terror attack. Agents scattered from the official story as it becomes increasingly obvious that the Saudis were pulling the strings in collusion with their Bush family allies right here in the good old US of A. Weapons manufacturer Raytheon increased its stock sixfold on the day before the 9-11 tragedy as Tomahawk missiles would be selling like hotcakes in the very near future. And the go-to financial protection of five-year treasuries soared as the United States unexpectedly faced a horror dominated by unanswered questions 14 years later. Meanwhile, the rest of America's last free act of independence appears to be the ability to change the channel in order to view the latest in Overton window entertainment as the truth runs wild into the misty darkness of the American night. The investigation scared a lot of the investors as two and a half million of put options on United Airlines went mysteriously unclaimed. Wall Street demons, and you know who you are. We will never forget we will never surrender. You will pay the high price for making a deal with the devil. John Bound for Infowars.com. Rand Paul has joined the fight to get the federal government to release the missing 28 pages of the official 9-11 commission report. And that was blocked and kept secret by the Bush administration. And that's because they know full well that the documents will prove once and for all that the Saudi Arabian government was directly involved in the attacks on September 11th. So very embarrassing, not to mention treasonous by George Bush and Dick Cheney who are both implicated here in a massive cover-up. And remember, it was George W. Bush himself, the hypocrite, who had this to say about anyone harboring terrorists. Every nation in every region now has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Oh, is that right, Georgie? It's going to be like that, huh? You're either with us or you are with the terrorist. Well, you're the one, George W., who vacations with the Saudi royal family. And you're also the one who used to vacation with the bin Laden family. And you're also going to find yourself in prison if these documents ever see the light of day. This sort of shocked me when you read it. As I read it, and we all had our own experience, I had to stop every couple pages and just sort of absorb and try to rearrange my understanding of history for the past uh, 13 years and the years leading up to that, it, it challenges you to rethink everything. And so uh, I think the whole country needs to go through that. That's right. These brave gentlemen have seen the 28 pages and they want the documents released. And you heard Representative Thomas Massey say right there that it will challenge you to rethink everything. Whatever is in those documents is going to change world history. I want those documents declassified. I'm embarrassed to be associated with a work product that is secret. But wait, there's more. Former Senator Bob Graham, who also co-chaired the Joint Senate House investigation into the September 11th attacks, he says... I am convinced that there was a direct line between at least some of the terrorists who carried out the September 11th attacks and the government of Saudi Arabia. He called it a smoking gun. And he went on to say 
the reason for this cover-up goes right up to the White House. Meanwhile, here's what they are saying in the New York Post. The Saudis deny any role in 9-11, but the CIA in one memo reportedly found incontrovertible evidence 